This video tutorial is about the applications of the polymerase chain reaction. Since its inception, the PCR has been improved and elaborated on in many ways. It's used to amplify DNA samples for sequencing. It's commonly used for a wide variety of applications. And I'm gonna go through six or seven of these applications in this video tutorial. The first is tissue typing. Donor and recipient tissues can be typed prior to transplantation to reduce the risk of rejection of the transplants. Secondly, PCR can be used for detection of oncogenes. If the type of mutation involved in a specific patient's cancer is found, then a medic medication may be better tailored to that patient. Thirdly, detecting mutations. A sample of DNA is analysed for the presence of a mutation that leads to a genetic disease. Patients can be tested to see if they carry a recessive allele for a particular gene. Fetal cells may be obtained from the mother's bloodstream for prenatal genetic screening. During IVF treatment, one cell from an eight cell embryo may be used to analyse the fetal DNA before implantation. And there are various other examples of detecting mutations using PCR as well. Next, identification of viral infections. Sensitive PCR tests can detect small quantities of viral genomes amongst the host cell's DNA. This can be used to verify, for example, HIV. PCR can also be used in the monitoring um, the spread of infectious disease. The spread of pathogens through a population of wild or domestic animals or from animals to human populations can be monitored and the emergence of new, more virulent subtypes can be detected. Forensic science also use pieces of R, uses PCR. Small quantities of DNA can be amplified for DNA profiling to identify criminals or to ascertain percentage. And finally, PCR can be used in research. Amplifying DNA from extinct ancient sources, such as Neanderthals or woolly mammoth bones for analysis and sequencing can help us understand um, our own evolution. In extant organisms, tissues or cells can be analysed to find out which genes are switched on or off. 